and then these annoying seniors decided to meet me at that uh, horrible stage or state of my life hmm. so immediately i entered the house there were some sisters there who were waiting to popo me you know that is what we say popo in size i know a lot of other senior high schools to use that term but popo in like you know bullying they're like hey you homojai homojai me grace with my button beautiful name for a pretty girl you decide to not ask me for my name and call me homojai hmm. i was like god give me patience because i really need it Hey, 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 one more, a bra pa jawara kwa yampa A bra ni wara bo, wara bo, wara bo A bra ni wara bo, a bra ni wara bo A bra ni wara bo, a fwi titi a duma kuma o A bra ni wara bo, yo why we forever go to do 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 Hey, a brain if we are a baby, a bestie, we yeah, yeah. Hey, if we were a, if we were a modern boy, a brandy, were a boy, were a boy, were a boy. Yeah, Rico. <laughs> what is up, guys? welcome 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 back to another video on your favorite girls channel my name is frame poma if you're just coming across my channel for the first time on youtube yeah 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 you are so welcome guys please 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 hit on the red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel to join my amazing family and if you are returning and you always come back just to look at my pretty face and all this blah 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 talks oh my god i appreciate you guys so much welcome back welcome back welcome back anyways today i'm so excited i'm doing this video for y'all the last time um as requested i did a video about food to pack to school and today another request i am doing a video on my first day in school yeah isn't that exciting yet yeah, that's super exciting so without further ado let's get into the video after the memory verse Hey guys so if you guys pay a little attention to my lips today i'm wrapping my my school on my lips you know <laughs> i'm super excited to be doing this video i have to be very quick because i am babysitting if you can hear in the background my baby is crying and she doesn't understand why i should leave and be filming for you guys but i love you guys as well you guys were my first love before hair so you know i'm filming for you guys so let's be quick okay guys so today i'm talking about my first day in senior high school and also i'm going to give you some tips to stay um happy in senior high school anyways i also have another video on what they don't tell you about senior high school i hope you go and watch that video as well most of you commented in my previous video about how um um, um, um happy you are to be going to senior high school trust me i'm so happy for you guys as well and there was this lady who was also saying that she didn't get infantile girls because she had bad grades trust me guys let me tell you god has a purpose for everybody our plans are not god's plans i wanted to go to a brie girls infantile girls was not my first choice i had good grades infantile girls was my second choice but i didn't get a brie girls i had infantile girls so you know anyways you don't know 
what would happen to you in case you got that school of your choice so every day i thank god and i bless god for infant man girls infant man girls made me meet people in school and connected me to people that i know now isn't that a blessing that is a huge blessing so i just want to encourage you guys and tell you that if you get if you make it to the school of your choice hallelujah but if you don't and god gives you another option just bless his name because he knows what is good for us and our plans are not his plans okay he has great plans and better plans for all of us so just bless the the lord you said for everything he does in your life i think 19th of october 2012 preaches this year i entered in Fantasman girl senior high school i don't re really remember when our admissions came and all that because like guys it's been like how many years now 2012 and 2022 10 years like i have a lot of things going up here in my head so i don't remember those things as a normal kid going to school i was super excited i was anxious super excited because you know i was leaving the family behind and i was going to school and i wasn't um you know so scared about senior high school because you know my sis has already briefed me on all the things that happened in senior high school so you know I was like, I've already grown wings before I was going to school. Do you understand? More times I was going for church camp and 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 I was moving away from home. So I wasn't really, you know, sad for the first time. Like as in for somebody that is leaving the house for the first time that she's going to miss her, her family and all that. No, I wasn't feeling that. Okay, so when I made it to school, I was so impressed, to be honest. As of 2012, I was so impressed about the condition of infant man girls in your high school because, like, the school was super neat. And my sister went to Kobo Girls, so I used to go and visit her all the time. Like, every visiting, I used to go and visit her. So I was used to the Kobo Girls environment, and that was, like, the only senior high school that I've been to. You know, because I go for their visit and I hadn't really gone to other senior high school. So when I entered in front of my girls in high school for the first time, to be honest, God knows I'm not lying. I was super impressed because the school was super neat. And, you know, because I've gone to Kobo Girls lots of times, I was used to the scenery of Kobo Girls. And in front of my girls, wasn't like that. Trust me. The You see, Kobo Girls is like on... Um, 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 on a raised land like it's on the mountain Kobo and in front of my girls is on a smooth land you guys their school was super neat so if you enter the school you meet the assembly hall that's the first building on your is it left or right i don't really know because after 10 years i've not been to my school no after i completed in 2015 so after seven years i've not been to my school before okay i haven't even gone for my um senior high school said kids i'll be going there one of these days so i hope when i go there i can vlog for you guys you know i'm super excited about that day i don't know when that day will be but like yeah <laughs> okay so right at the entrance of the school like the seniors were and their prefects i believe they were prefects they were not just seniors the prefects of the school like the prefects of each house were there receiving all of us because um i think that's their duty that's their job they have to receive us into their houses and all that until i got to the school i didn't know which house i was going to so they received that at the entrance i think they'll check everything that you have if you have a trunk a chalk bus a mattress um you know buckets all that so they receive you together with i think some seniors as well so that's the perfect juniors but to me, they are my seniors because I'm, I'm a fresher. I was a fresher. Okay, so they received us and then we were all marched into the assembly hall. So it was the assembly hall that the whole registration thing was going on. Like, um, you're, you get to know your house you're going to and they check through um, your staff to see that you... Um, you brought everything that was in the prospectus and all that and you didn't carry anything that's not supposed to be in the boarding house So I was a boarder and so I think I don't really know how I got my house I don't know if it was by balloting as in you have to pick to know your house or it was already I don't know. I don't know. I can't re remember so I won't tell a lie. I don't remember honestly and 
So all I remember is that I was giving Scotting House. So I went to the Scotting House preferred to were sitting on the table waiting for me to check through my things and they did that and they realized that I carried everything but I carried one unprescribed thing. I think um I don't like cold weather so I carried my blue sweater and then they asked my mom to take it back home because it wasn't necessary. Yeah. And so they checked everything, prescribed girl, I was good to go. And then some seniors were assigned to take my things to the house, Scotton House. Okay. So they led my parents and I to my house. And then there, immediately I got to the house, guys, I was so tired because I had my backpack and I think I had filled it with like some things maybe my cosmetics and all of that so i was super tired so immediately i got to the house the first thing i did is i gave my bag to somebody that i didn't even know that was my first mistake i wasn't supposed to give my bag to anybody because besides i don't know the person but i was super tired and it was stressful like it was a journey to infant my girl so i was tired i was a little hungry and so I decided to let the person who wanted to help help <laughs> and then that was bad news for me so when i gave my bag to the person they brought i think they took for scotting house like i think every house yes no every house in phantom girls has an inner compound so that was where they took our trunk and chalk bus and mattress and buckets too and then i think our parents were not supposed to enter our room so they leave you at the entrance and then bye 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 so they left i went back to escort them to go and then as i was saying by this time i've given my bag to somebody that I don't even know who so when i came back i was now looking for my bag because i think i had food in my bag i was hungry you know my shall not leave by red alone but this one day i beg that day i wasn't fasting so i had to eat something so I was now looking for my bag and then when I went back to the house, can you imagine me that I am depressed, I am stressed, I am hungry, you know, looking for my bag and whoever I gave my bag to that I don't know. And then this annoying senior decided to meet me at that uh, horrible stage or state of my life. Hmm. I was like, God, give me patience because I really need it. And you guys, let me tell you, in my previous video, I told you that if you go to senior high school and you do yourself like mini, 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 medium, too, no, I am the boss chick from, my scene, from the junior high school that I'm coming from. Please trust me. You will be everybody's enemy. So I was just laughing. You know, I like to laugh a lot. I don't really get angry. But when I get angry, it is that bad. But I'm not proud of that. But I was laughing because, you know, as I said, my sister has already briefed me of all the silly things that were going to be done to me by the sisters so i was just laughing have you seen a hungry person laughing before but i was laughing because i am that cool you know and i realized that there were first year students with the sisters and behind the sisters were already in tears <laughs> and it's like the sisters were surprised why is this girl laughing why like I think they were thinking that maybe I've not gone through anything, like nobody has had the opportunity to bully me and all that. So I was super happy. And then they were like, I should go to Sandra Mingles. Then I was like, Sister, please, I don't know Sandra Mingles. They were like, Oh, Busame. Oh, Busame, and I said, Oh, catch him. I remember that so clearly. And I remember the sister that did that to me because she became my friend. Later in, later on, like as in, the terms I had, we went to the same dorm. And then she was like, Oh, Bissame. And I will catch her. Baby. And I was like, Please, I'm asking you. She was just like, How dare you born? I mean, to kum kum. Then I knelt down. And then she was like, Mr. Bohon, I mean, to kum kum. Like, sister, please, I can't boho. You said I should kneel down. So I've already knelt down. Then she was like, They were like, Hey, 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 girl, we won't board, yeah, girl, we won't board, yeah, girl, we won't board, yeah. Like, everybody was like, ah, this girl, like, me, I don't, is it that, I don't know what is going on, but, you know, 
I told you, I've already been brief. So I'm briefing you now so that if you go to school, like be humble, but don't let them, don't be scared, okay? So they're like, Messi, because you share Sandra Mingles. Then I, I got up and then I went to ask one sister what Sandra Mingles is. And she was like, you know, so I moved on. Then I I was looking for Sandra Mingles. You know, Sandra Mingles is like, um, I don't know how to say this, but in my house, there's this, um, is it a bridge? Should I say a bridge? That is on the, you see, my house is a story building, first floor, ground floor and first floor. So on the first floor, there's this, um, I don't know, maybe I'll look for the picture and put it on the screen. There's this like a bridge from the first floor to the washroom. That's what they call San Jamingo. So I was like, sister, please, there's nobody called. So when I got to know what San Jamingo was, I went to tell her that there was nothing called San Jamingo. San, as in San Jamingos is not a person and then you know the funny thing is that they tell you to go and look for objects and items no, it's not even objects items as people so they also tell you to go and look for something like Osmolina Patterson so menstruation in senior high school in my school I know some other senior high schools so as well they call it um, Osmo that's menstruation and then Paddison, like as in pad, as in sanitary pad. Uh -huh. So they were like, we should go and look for a small in a Paddison. That one, I think they told most first years to go and look for a small in a Paddison. I'm like, ah, a small in a Paddison, so a small biscuit, or so something like that. What is that? So we were all confused and we're going to look for this person called a small biscuit. Not knowing a sanitary pad. How can you go and look for a sanitary pad? So those are some of the things that they do to you when you get them. And then um, later, I think it was time for dining. And Friday, jollof. Jollof. The side jollof. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the food that nobody wants to miss in Infantman Girls, jollof. Hey! This plain yellow jollof. I don't know how they serve it now it is, but my time. It is like carry rice you know but it's jollof it's jollof just that there's not much tomato in the stew or something the rice so like it's plain it's not white but it's plain jollof uh -huh. so we all went to eat but you know some of us brought first day you are coming to school definitely your parents will give you food so most first years we didn't eat our food but we had to you know go and taste and see the difference between our mother's food and the school's food you understand so then later on when i went to i still hadn't found my bag later on after dining we went back to the house to go arrange our things and then the seniors gave us our damage like they told us our dorm numbers so i went to, at that time i was in u1 so in Scotton house the first um room or dorm i had was u1 where i met most of my friends that i still have today my amazing friends you know like rose rosamon um augustina um you know and some sisters so when i went to my room I saw my bag on one of the beds and I was like wow please who brought my bag here and then this sister was like she was the one so I was like ah so you were the one who took my bag and everybody was laughing at me because like somebody took I gave my bag to somebody I don't remember who and then I found my bag and I was surprised you know so I don't know if she knew that I was going to her room she so I decided that she's going to be my school mother so that was how come I got my school mother, Nana Brago. Yes. And we look so much alike. I've not been, um, I've been a prodigal daughter to her, I know. But, you know, please be good to your school mothers because my school mother was so good to me. But I don't know how, you know, I'll leave that to another day. <laughs> so everybody was laughing and I was so happy that I found my bad because in case i had lost my bag everything in my bag would have been gone and i'm going to call home and say mommy please first day of senior high school i've lost my bag i lost everything in it my money all that can you please send it to me again and 
were going to laugh at me, you know, because like it was it would have been irresponsible of me, do you understand? Okay, so I was super excited and all that. And yes, that was it. I think we slept and the next day was a Saturday and then we went for um house cutting house orientation where the seniors came to speak to us the prefects came to speak to us and there was still popoing and bullying going on here and there here and there here and there and so but oh but seriously trust me all the sisters i had in my house in my room in my dorm i think you one were the best like i remember sister gloria Ekiata. oh my god all those sisters were super fun super fun and super fun and super fun and exciting but it's been 10 years and i don't know where most of them are you know super sad so yes that was my first day of senior high school it was super nice and i couldn't sleep well you know the first time you go anywhere no matter who you are you cannot really sleep the way that you sleep when you're in the comfort of your bed at home you know so i didn't really sleep well and i believe the other girls in my room didn't sleep well as well yes yeah, so i think that was also my tapes for senior high school guys i said i mentioned a lot of them in my what they don't tell in senior high school you can go and watch that but please 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 in senior high school there's nothing like i'm I'm going to be too no too no too no too no. If you're a fresher in senior high school, please humble yourself, okay? Humble yourself, humility, respect your sisters because they can make and or make your senior high school um life or journey. <laughs> yes, they can they can be the reason why you become happy in senior high school and they can be the reason why you become very very horrible and miserable in senior high school so just give respect to them they'll send you go and wash their plates go and buy this go and do this fetch me water it's super exciting and super fun but you know the rest is super exciting it's very annoying but you know like take it as a junior sister if you're at home you have a bigger sister she's going to send you cut away mom cut away mom cut away mom do this do this just take it like that and you're going to be very happy in senior high school and also the first time that we, i was to share the washroom with other people um <clears throat> about 50 girls almost 50 girls at once oh my god i wanted the air to open and then swallow me me because we were watching like when i go for camp meetings most of the times i'm privileged to wash down in the cubicles with my like those who take care of us because i like i like doing our homework so they become my friends and then when they go and wash down i ask for permission go and wash down what they wash down to dark i've never done open bath i was bathing before so it was my first time i was going to do that and i was so shy like i was covering my boobs you know and the way I, like it took me 20 minutes to bath because i've turned my own back if you turn your back you are showing them your ass you know it was so funny and luckily like the other ladies too were also shy so when they're shy i shy i shy i shy we all shy and then we all took our bath together so yes senior high school trust me is very 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 exciting anyways guys thank you so much for watching my video i hope to get more video suggestions in my comment in my comment section sorry this time around and let's do the next video together stay blessed i love you don't forget to subscribe don't forget to turn off the post notification bell so you can get notified whenever i update a new, a new video until we meet again Bye.